confidence coming off that win he had at Hardenport Knights. Yeah, uh, Ryujin has to have a ton of confidence coming into this tournament, and uh, he's regarded as one of the very best players here. Fan poll result, first place. That says wow. it all. Uh, this guy is a heavy favorite to take the entire tournament. Yeah, I know Manny is definitely a strong player here, but I think what is going to help him possibly win this event is that he's using Jan Lee. Jan Lee, a strong character in the hands of a strong player, and that's yep. a, a tough combination to deal with. Looks like we're still going to try and figure out who Sin is using. <laughs> it's a mystery, but uh, we're about to find out. She's thinking rig, perhaps? Nope. No. Oh, that was a hey, that was Ryujin Hitomi? picking Jan Lee. Leaf, Leaf, Lee Fang. There we go, Lei Fang. It's and uh, these characters are actually arch rivals in the DOA story, Jan Lee and Lei Fang. So we're going to see a uh, a matchup of. of Star-crossed lovers. I don't even know what they're supposed to be. <laughs> okay, let's I just know that you do not want to take Lee Fang's cabbage. That's right. Never take her cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> and here comes Ryujin. And right off the bat, we can see how his Jan Lee differs from Vanessa's. When Vanessa landed the Dragon Gunner, every time she would go for the guaranteed forward-forward kick follow-up, Ryujin went for a setup there, which is not guaranteed, but it could potentially result in more damage. Right. Looks like she's used the light in the sidestep mechanic, but unfortunately, you know, Jan Lee's got a lot of tracking properties, and that's going to be very hard facing up against that character. Ryujin taking an extremely dominant round one there, and uh, it looks like Sin might be in trouble. Very nice blocking coming in with a combo, but unfortunately wasn't able to land much. Very good grab. Look at her cheer. She's very excited. She loves it. She's into it, and uh, she isn't doing too badly this round, that's for sure. Oh, and Ryujin did not expect the third kick of that string, <laughs> and he lost the round because of it. It's very interesting. You know, it would be a huge upset if uh, Sin were to take this one against Ryujin. I know that for sure. It would be <laughs> a colossal, unthinkable upset. Nice low throw there from but Ryujin. We haven't seen her play, so that that's very could be possible for her. You know, it could be easy for her to make that happen this event. It would certainly be a huge shock for the DOA community, but Ryujin saying, uh-uh, I'm not going anywhere. Coming out oh. with the aggression he needs to take that this one. Oh, very unsafe, but unfortunately, Sin doesn't punish it, but she still comes out with a very nice little grab there. It's Sin doing well for herself here. She's blocking well. She blocked Jan Lee's punch, 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 down kick. But Ryujin's offense, he just never stops coming. Looks like she doesn't quite seem to understand either what the combos land and stuff. And that, I think, is just innocent inexperience with DOA 5. Ouch. And there is the critical burst into a launcher for the round-ending juggle from Ryujin. You know, I really like her enthusiasm. Actually, I, I, can, I can see her right in my peripherals here. And uh, she seems really excited when she's getting throws off. She's like putting her hand up in the air. She's really cheering it on. And uh, it's great to see. She's excited to be here and she's <laughs> having a blast. Uh, I love what I'm seeing. And you know what? She's acquitting herself very well. Ryujin is an absolute monster in DOA. And she's not getting rolled over. She's actually putting up a fight. Get ready. All right, well, she's backing off a little bit, and she seems to be using sidesteps a lot, which I like to see that. But unfortunately, I don't think she's had enough time with them to know how to utilize it. The constant Dragon Gunner pressure from Ryujin is so tough to deal with. But now she's going for some pressure of her own. Not enough, though. More Dragon Gunners. Dragon Gunners for days. Nice forehead combo, but unfortunately, short combos like that aren't going to get you much. She's having success here, but it's like for however much damage she lands, Ryujin's going to land twice as much in that period of time. Very nice crush on his part. Both players are, are they're playing carefully, though. They definitely respect each other. I like how Ryujin was ready for the third kick in that string there. She didn't do it, but he crouched. He was ready for it. Moving back again, and that's something else that's different about Ryujin's Jan Lee. He will use that evasive move to set up his offense. Oh, went for the forward-forward kick there and got smacked in the face. Another there. Dragon Gunner, wow. And of course, it's going to give him the win because he gets that guaranteed hit right after. 
And Ryujin uh, dominating the second game, trying to apply some pressure with Jan Lee's new stance. Goes for a Dragon Gunner, and it doesn't work, but that one does. Very nice wall aggression, taking almost 40% health there. Sin fighting back. She's not going down without a fight. Oh, unfortunately, makes the wrong counter prediction, and all he needs is the two hits, but of course, successfully land him the win. And that's it. Ryujin uh, defeats Sin 2-0, to zero, and he will advance in the winner's bracket. All right, up next, I do believe we are going... Wait, so now Vanessa will be facing Ryujin, and that's going to be uh, either a mirror match, which would be interesting to see Jan Lee versus Jan Lee with Vanessa 